Israel forces tighten siege of Gaza, but Hamas resistance strong. Israeli tanks and troops continued to tighten their siege of Gaza City on November 2, but Israeli commanders acknowledged that the Hamas militant movement had put up a strong defense. The fighting between Israel and Hamas has now lasted nearly four weeks and is now focused near the main population center of the Gaza Strip in the north. While Israeli military chief Itzik Cohen said we are at the gates of Gaza City, Hamas and its ally in Gaza, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, continued to put up a fierce resistance, using a network of tunnels to attack tanks and elusive attacks against Israeli forces. Aware of the difficulties of urban combat, Israel appears to have changed its strategy, concentrating forces in northern Gaza instead of launching a full-scale ground offensive on the entire strip. The Israel bombed Gaza City all night long. The houses were shaking constantly, a man leaving their toll Reuters. In the morning, we found that Israeli forces were still outside the city. In the suburbs. This means that the resistance was stronger than they expected. Israeli forces appear to be advancing into Gaza city along three main routes, from the northeast, from the northwest along the Mediterranean coast, and from the south after reaching the main north-south highway of the territory. Israel noted that the attacks had killed a number of members and destroyed Hamas tunnels. Local residents said mortar fire rang out around Gaza city. Israeli tanks and bulldozers sometimes crashed through rubble and raised buildings instead of using conventional routes. Israel Brigadier General Ido Misrahin told the army radio that Israeli forces are in the early stages of the operation to open up routes inside Gaza. However, he acknowledged that Hamas was well prepared by planting many mines and booby traps. Israeli media reported that engineering units from the country began using a variety of remote control robots and explosives to search for and destroy the tunnel system that Hamas built under the Gaza Strip. According to the Times of Israel, the Israeli army is believed to have destroyed about 100 Hamas tunnels, not including tunnels that were hit by bombs in airstrikes. Other parts of Gaza continued to be bombed on November 2. In southern Gaza, a tank shelling near the town of Khan Yunus killed at least three Palestinians. Jabalia refugee camp was attacked for the second day in a row, killing at least 195 people. 120 missing and nearly 800 injured, according to a Hamas-run media office. With Arab countries growing, increasingly outraged by Israel's retaliatory campaign, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken made his second trip to Israel in less than a month on November 2. Mr. Blinken is scheduled to meet with Israeli officials, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, on November 3 to express solidarity and reaffirm the need to reduce civilian casualties for Palestinians. Mr. Blinken will also stop in Jordan, a major U.S. ally and one of the few Arab countries to normalize relations with Israel. On November 1, Jordan withdrew its ambassador from Tel Aviv until Israel ends the attack on Gaza. Israel said it regretted Jordan's decision. As of November 2, the Gaza Strip's health agency said at least 9,061 Palestinians had been killed in the conflict, mostly women and children. More than 32,000 were injured. In addition, more than 130 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank. More than 1,400 have been killed on the Israeli side, mostly civilians. In Hamas's initial attack on October 7, 18 Israeli soldiers have also been killed in the Gaza Strip since the country launched its ground operation on October 27. The lives of millions of Israelis have been turned upside down and about 250. 000 people have been evacuated from border towns.